Hey folks, uh, this lesson is surface area of prisms, okay? In the next one, we'll do surface area of pyramids. So we learned how to uh, draw net figures, and I'm going to use that information to uh, define the surface area of prisms, okay? All right, so this one's just a prism. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com, and this is our third lesson in our textbook. So how can we find the surface area of a prism? We're going to use uh, our nets here. So here we go. Heidi is uh, designing wooden boxes uh, in which to store all of her books. So each box measures 15 inches by 12 inches by 10 inches. Okay, so think of a box. Um, and that's a prism, you guys. So to know how much wood to buy, she needs to find the surface area of each box. So what is the surface area of each box? Okay, so here's her box. Okay, so it's it's 15 inches by 12 inches by 10 inches right there. Okay, all right. So let's go ahead and um, what are the shapes of the faces? Okay, well, they're all rectangles right there of each face and so what are the dimensions of each face okay so this top guy is a rectangle so it's it's 15 by 12 right here and there's two of them because there's a bottom one right there so let's put two in parentheses right there okay and then we got uh, a left and a right and there's two of them okay so this is going to be 15 by 10 right there okay and a left and a right and then we got a front piece and a back piece okay so the front piece is uh, 12 by 10 and same with the back piece right there okay so we got six uh, rectangles right there so we're going to use a net remember a net is uh, if we flatten that out right there to find the surface area okay so if we flatten that out it would look something like that so remember doing nets in the last uh, lesson right there so it's uh, if we can you know cut it all out and you know uh, cut it out cut it out right there and then flatten that down and flatten that down and then flattened all three of these sides down like that it would look something like that so let's put the links on there okay okay so there's all the links right there okay let's slide that up right there so let's find the area of each of the lettered faces right there so we'll start right here with this a right here okay so the face um, face a is going to be uh, 12 by 10 so 12 times 10 is a 120 right there face b okay is going to be all right, this length is going to be 15 by 10, so 15 times 10 is 150 right there. C, okay, C is going to be, okay, well, remember, this length is uh, 15 right here. This length right here is the same as this up here, so 12. Okay, so 15 by 12 right there. All right, and 15 times 12 is the same as 15 times 10 plus 2. 15 times 10 is 150. 15 times 2 is 30, so when we add that together, we get 180. There's other ways you can do that. I'm just reminding you about the good old uh, distributive friend right there. Okay, face D is going to be um, uh, 15 by 10. 15 times 10 is 150. E is um, uh, 15 times 12. Okay, well, we did that up there. That's still 180 right there. All right, and then finally, uh, F is going to be, uh, what's that going to be? That's going to be uh, 10 by 12 right there. So 10 times 12, 12 times 10 is going to give us 120 right there. So uh, the sum of the areas of the faces are going to be these numbers added up. So I did do that right here. Okay, so here we go right here. So I'm going to add up the zeros. Those add up to zero. And then we add up, let's see, let's add up the 10. So we'll put a zero right here. Okay, so 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 8 is 15, 20, 28, 30. So we'll put another zero there and put a carry of 3 right up there. Okay, all right, and then we just add up these guys 3, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these add up to 900 inches squared right there. So the surface area of each box for Heidi is going to be 900 inches squared. Okay, she must like reading lots of books. That's good for you, by the way. All right, uh, so here you go. So uh, uh, describe what you notice about the opposite faces of the box that could help us find the surface area. Well, remember, the top piece equaled the bottom piece, and the left piece equaled the right piece, and the front piece equaled the back, the back piece. So we just find the area of the top and then double it. Find the area of the left, double it. Find the area of the front, double it. And I should have said then add everything together. I think I will right there. Then add it all together. And add together. Okay, all right. 
Uh, okay, so here we go. So let's use a, a net to find the surface area of this triangular prism. Okay, it's a prism because the top and bottom are congruent triangles and all the lateral faces are rectangles right there. Okay, so if we cut it out and flatten it out, it's kind of hard to do this at first. So the surface area equals the sum of the areas of the three rectangular faces and the two triangular bases. And notice the bases have the same area, okay? All right, so here we go. So if we cut it out and then, and then roll out those rectangles right there. So there's the base on top and the base on bottom. Kind of hard to see, you know, but when you, if you can imagine, fold this up and fold this up and fold this up and fold this up, it would give us this guy right there. Can you see that? All right, so let's go ahead and do the triangles right here. Okay, so the area of base is A and E. So A and E. So it's a triangle, so 1 half, 12 times 5. Okay, 1 half, 12 times 5. 12 times 5 is 60, half of that is 30, okay? Now since there's two bases, we got the top base and the bottom base right here, so these two guys right here, 30 and 30 gives us uh, 60 right there. All right, so now let's find the area of the rectangle face B right there. So 13 times 10 is 130, okay? And then the area of rectangle C is gonna be 12 times 10 or 120. Finally, uh, D is going to be 5 times 10 or 50 right there, and we add all of those numbers up. So when we add all those up and we care, we get uh, 360 inches squared right there. So the surface area of this prism is 360 inches squared, okay? All right, let's find the surface area of this cube. We're going to show you a couple of ways. So one way is that what we just did is to unravel it and make a net right there. So since it's a cube, they're all squares right there. So they're all five by five squares. So find the area of each face, all the faces of the squares with sides uh, five centimeters. So uh, the areas of all the squares are the same. So the area of one face is going to be 5 times 5, or 25. Don't forget, area is always uh, square units, so in this case, centimeters squared. Okay, so let's find the sum of all the faces. Well, there's six of them because a cube has six sides right there. So 25 added together six times, okay? So, so that gets us 150 centimeters squared, okay? That way works great. I like this way with cubes. Cubes are um, uh, nice and fast if you know the formula. It's just 6s squared where s is the side length right there, okay? And the big s is the surface area and the small s is your side length right there. So let's go ahead and plug in uh, 5 for the s right there. So 5 squared is 25. Okay, so when we do 6 times 25, we get 150. So the surface area of that cube is 150 centimeters squared. All right, you guys. Hope you're having a great year, and, and I hope you do well on your state tests that come up. Take care, you guys.